but these two came to me so the first one it was meg and nikki so <laughs> you know meg she dropped her track you know and she tried to be as nice as she possibly could knowing that her dark feminine side is very 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 active it doesn't make her evil though she just has a, her dark feminine in her and that's okay and so she spoke her truth um now this here is about it's about truth she spoke her truth about everything that was done to her and you know she didn't drop any names she didn't do any of that pointing fingers and trying to hurt anybody or you know, she just simply spoke her truth now she you know hit dog do holler you know and she did what she was supposed to do what she was guided to do now the response and hand the the opt i'm not gonna call her that we're not gonna call her that because she has some really good music i'm not gonna lie and i don't have no problems with nobody you know but i'm gonna you know nikki's response to the diss track it wasn't with talent it wasn't with talent like oh okay we're, we're just gonna you know you know battle it out in a sensitive with a nice little you know you know you know like no she wants to talk about this lady's dead mom now that was intentionally to hurt her like that was fucked up like how do you talk about someone's dead mom i'm just saying you can see the intentions this is truth versus just evil words um and again no harm intended to either party i'm just shedding light on the the dark response versus the evil response there's a difference um in darkness and evil um and then we gonna get to the second week it's chris now i ain't gonna lie breezy breezy snout so bad <laughs> And anybody who has really paid attention to him know he's going to respond, baby. He, he, like, oh, he's, he's, he, he don't, he like, yeah. he, he snapped real bad. <laughs> Again, I don't really know what the shit is between him and Quavo. I don't really get into the industry shit. I really don't. I try to stay out of the mix of the politics and the industry shit because my judgment really matters when it comes to the higher power and, I don't want to miss I don't want to cause a misjudgment because somebody simply was, you know, hurt or you know, they or lost, you know, I try I just try to stay out of things like certain things um because again, like my judgment matters and God listens to what I have to say and so I try to pick and choose you know, I try to I try to be fair and so Let's get into that. So, <laughs> Chris, Breezy snapped real bad. Real bad. That boy snapped. He snapped. But, see, he snapped with truth. And not only did he snap with truth, he let it known that we could box it out. You know, like two niggas. Like, brothers and sisters, like, fought back. Like, man, that don't mean I want to kill you. That don't mean I want to take your life from you. You know, we could box it out like two, you know, and then shake hands at the end of it and be like, okay, did you done? You got that off your chest? All right, brother, respect, you know, and then move on and go continue to live your life. Get your money. You feel me? Like, he let it know that he spoke his truth, did what he had to do, and then he, you know, exited the building. Now, the response was with violence. You understand? This is the difference between dark and evil. The response is with violence. Like, the first thing you say on your comeback is, you want to take a dance with my Draco. Like, okay, so you just threatened to shoot me, like, with a lot of bullets. If I'm not mistaken, the Draco is a gun with a lot of bullets. I'm just saying, because <laughs> your response is to want to take his life for speaking truth. Like, there's a difference in dark and evil. I'm just saying, you will know a person by the things that they say out of their mouth. You will know a person by their, their, the, 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 their mood, how they move. Like, 
all you have to do is pay attention. Pay attention. Um, yeah, so that's my thing. That was my big old thing. I don't even, to be honest with you, I didn't even really listen to Quavo's response. Once I heard, like, the first 30 seconds or some shit, I was like, yeah, no, that's not what I want to hear. Like, I choose what to put into my ears and my eyes, and I try not to put a lot of violence into it, like... Especially violence that involves taking lives. Um, I'm not real big on that. Um, at one point in my life, I was a big um, Law & Order fan and fucking uh, criminal justice. That was like some shit I was really glued on. And I had to grow out of that shit because when you know your power, you be- you have to be more responsible, you know, on the things that you intake because it matters to... Um, it matters to humanity, especially it all depends on who you are, what your power is. Like you have to understand that we're all connected. We all have a tribe. We all have a certain amount of followers who unconsciously follow us. They, I don't really think a lot of like, it's, it's a, it's all about awareness. And so once you realize that you have like heavy is the head that wears the crown, Oh, that's the first time I ever said that, um, right. Yeah, I said that right, and it sounded good, too. But, yeah, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Like, what's the other one? With great responsibilities, with great, with, with great, fuck, I don't want to, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um... Yeah. So those are my two examples um so far. Those are the only ones that I wanted to speak on anyway. I don't I don't get into a lot of those things. But those that was my intake versus the responses and the intentions um in the responses. You can tell who operates out of darkness and who operates out of evil.